Hello and welcome to another exciting tale from the Combat Commander Ladder. If this is your first time seeing one of these videos, well, we are certainly glad to have you here. The Combat Commander Ladder is a community of friendly enthusiasts of this amazing squad-level World War II game by Chad and Kai Jensen. We've been going since 2017 and we now have over 100 players on our battalion roster. If you like what you see, We've got room in the barracks for you. Just follow the link in the video description below and you will be directed to your local recruiting office. Each month, it is my esteemed pleasure to face off against an opponent from the latter and get to know a little bit about them. This month, I've been paired up against Mark, one of our many Marks on the latter. Mark, if you've seen one of these videos before, you know I like to turn the spotlight over to that person and invite this new friend to tell us a little bit about their gaming history, their war gaming history, or even their combat commander experience. Based on my stats, I see you are almost four years on the ladder now, and this is the first time you and I have ever played against each other. So take it away, Mark. Yes, I am Mark. I'm in the, on the East Coast uh, in the Boston area. My gaming experience is vast in the sense of uh, I grew up loving to play uh, Payday and Monopoly. And then later on in my life, I graduated to actually fun games to play. And probably about six-ish years ago, I got turned on to Combat Commander by going to a bar and seeing it played. And by one of my friends, they're like, you should you should play this. So we had a first scenario tryout of the game. I got hooked immediately, went out and bought it myself so he didn't have to travel with his game. I 3D printed like chit holders, everything, so like I could actually keep things organized. I I love the movement mechanics of this game. I like thinking about it all. Uh, other than that, I play in multiple D&D games and I bike for fun. Well, that is uh, very well-rounded. You are the first person, I think, to ever tell me that you found Combat Commander by way of a bar. Pub, I've heard. Bar, I've not heard before. So that's, What's uh, the difference between a pub and a bar? Well, you know, one's a public house, right? And one's uh, like, hey, Smitty, give me another whiskey and rye. You know. Um, but... oh, this is more of a brewery, then. Oh, okay, gonna, a brewery. Gonna... Okay. okay, that's a working facility. So I get it. That's pretty cool. And also, it's funny that you mentioned Payday, because... We have that in common. That was the first board game I think I ever played with my older sisters. And they hated playing Payday with me because I won a lot. And they always accused me of cheating. And I was not cheating. I was just better at it than them. You know, that's a story for another day. But we are so happy to have you here. And the chit holder creation and everything, that speaks to a level of dedication to Combat Commander that makes me so proud. So uh, I love hearing that kind of stuff. It but, makes finding your pieces so much easier. Oh, I know. I, I, I have all my stuff in GMT trays, and the sad part is when I'm setting up this at a convention to teach somebody, I'm constantly like, oh, I'm the Germans. I, Germans or Americans are hard because I've got the Normandy stuff in there, and I've got 6,000 <laughs> extra leaders. I have to like, oh my gosh, where are the leaders that I need? So I need to separate those out into a holder of my own. So I may follow you on that. But what we're doing here tonight, as we do each and every month, we are playing one scenario from a specific battle pack. This month it brings us to the Sea Lion Battle Pack, which is the, quote, alternate universe. What if Hitler had actually invaded the, or followed through with Operation Silo and invaded the British Isles? This was created about 10 years ago. I was fortunate enough to playtest this when it was first coming out, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And of course, the fact that it's alternate history is just gold for me. I love that. This is scenario number 91, the Battle of Trafalgar. Just a quick overview. Uh, as the storyline goes at this one, the battle has entered Trafalgar Square. The Germans are trying to take out the critical rail junction at one of the stations there. And so uh, the, the upper echelon has thrown all the troops into this meat grinder and the British are attempting their stalwart defense here at the statue of Nelson outside of Trafalgar Square. I will be playing the Germans tonight, and Mark will be playing the British as the defenders, and he will have the top part of the map, I will have the bottom. Very few special rules tonight. The only special rule is that statue of uh, Nelson that we talked about allows 
Mark II set up, in addition to the five hexes deep, he can go two hexes beyond that, so he can actually in some places go out to seven hexes deep. Uh, it is an impassable structure, and I will have four satchel charges in my counter mix that I can use to eliminate any of the wire that Mark has put out there. So I will eliminate the satchel charge, and then I can just make that that wire go bye-bye. And because of this, we are here for the death. We are not getting exit points on this map, so I've pulled out shit letter W. That's off to the side. In case we should happen to draw something, uh, we will not draw chit W. Any thoughts on this one, Mark? Have you played this one before? I have never played this one before. Sometimes I get to play the scenario bef outside, like in real life, before I do the ladder, but I have not been able to do that for a few months, so I'm playing this blind. Oh, okay. Well, I, like I said, I, I do have a couple of plays, albeit they were 10 years ago during the playtest process. I don't think anything changed because this was released on uh, Board Game Geek originally as a fan made, and then Andrew created it, he said submitted it to GMT, and then they formally produced and published it. So, uh, I, like I said, I had the opportunity to playtest it, but I don't believe there were any changes. So, I've got limited experience with it, but from what I've seen on the data so far, it's a stand up, balanced scenario. Uh, of course, we will find out the at the end of the month, if that holds true, but so far it seems pretty even-keeled. But what we need to do right now is, Mark being the defenders, he will set up first, so I'm going to pause the video here, just to cut out some time, give him no pressure, he can take as much time as he wants, and then we'll come back and I will do my setup. So, off you go, Mark. Mark has indicated that he is satisfied with that setup, and I have drawn my secret axis objective, which you can see there. And I will now pause it once again as I consider my setup options. So I'll be right back. I have completed my setup. I have no idea what to expect because, you know, like everybody else, the cards may hose you based on what your initial setup is. But it is time to draw our cards. Okay, well, I think it's time to... Wish you good luck, Mark, but as always, not too much luck. Yeah, I hope I get some luck here. And let's see, I've got the I've got the card, so I'm going first, and as per okay. usual, we will start with a bang here and uh we'll discard two, because that's the great opening move. And I will draw back up and it's to you, sir. We're going to Discard to your turn. I love that we can provide all the excitement. I will discard three cards this time. And draw back up. And it is to you once again. Alright, I'm going to take a move. And actually move up these two folks. Okay, let me see. Uh, let me check that line of sight there. I do have line of sight there. I will use that. And we will fire on you there. And it will be... I think Lower Box, the only one that can see them. So we'll activate them. Let me check these other guys too. Oh, they do too. Okay. So, question is, do we have range? One, two, three, four, five. We do. So, activate them as well. And we'll just do one big fire with the... Uh, rifle team first is five, plus one is six, plus one for light machine gun is seven, and plus one for this guy is eight, and we'll do targeting there. So eight plus. And you jam your light. <laughs> because of course. <laughs> All right, that's fine. What we've come to know and love about my skill and luck in this game. All right, uh, I will take it, and it is broken, so it is... Uh... Tend to me. And I'm in the building, so I get three uh, hover. So I have an 11 and an 11. Makes it, and makes it. And we're going to move this guy up for free. I don't don't think I have a shot there, but I will double check. Yeah, clip in the building there, and clip in the building there. Yep, so you're good. Next order, pass off to you. I think we're going to 
discard two, and draw all the way back up. It's to you, sir. We will play a fire order, activating Sergeant Hayes and his line squad. Uh, and they will target Larabrox. Heck. As is your prerogative. I have a thick firepower. And we will play a marksmanship to make it an 8. The roll is an 11 for a 19. Oof. Um, yikes. Let's see. I'm going to be... Uh, an 11 and a 12. I think I, it's, I know what people out there are saying right now, but, um. Oh, you're my kind of player. I <sighs> like you, I like using the initiative card. I, yeah, I just, I mean, 11 right out of the gate. Yeah. Let's have you roll that again. All right. Give me box cars. Nope. <laughs> uh, we'll go with a 15. We are 11 and 12, so 11 for the squad. There we go. <laughs> Playing the time. Good job. Good good defense roll. All right, so I don't presume you want me to re-roll that. Oh, I, I like that. I'm sure you do. All right, so we're going to do a time event. I'm going to reset my deck. That's a nice 50 cards. Yeah. No smoke? Is and no smoke. You may, you may take a point. Thank you very much. And any diggins that you'd like to play? I have no diggins. Okay, so they pass. And now Larbach is a 12. And he's good. Next order, and I am. We're going to cycle a card. We'll play a move order. Activate this guy. He pops and pops back. Uh, he has no visibility to any of your people, so. Next order, and it is your turn. We'll play a move order. Uh, okay. Activate Lauerbach and everyone down here. Um, throw out some smoke grenades. Try to fill this alley with some smoke. Let's see what we get first. That's not helpful. Uh, so, <laughs> man, all right, we'll just move the hard way. We'll go one, two. Don't and think I have sight of that. No, three, four. And we'll go one, two. I and... do have sight of that. Okay. We will play an opportunity fire. We will activate the peeps. Uh, Sergeant Hayes. Last time we checked, that was a six. Uh, five for hindrance. Uh, marksman for seven. Got to squeeze that trigger. And the roll is a six, so it is a 13. Okay, and we, we are no trouble. 11 moving. <laughs> Never say that, Mark. Never, ever, ever say that for me. See? <laughs> All right. So uh, <laughs> that was basically free for them because they're moving along the road. So we'll go. Uh, so that was zero, uh, one, two to there. No shot. And um, I will throw out some more smoke grenades and see what we get this time. <laughs> Man. All right. Uh, <laughs> they will. Uh, they will just stay there. That's fine. This is fine. All right. Next order. I will draw back up, and I send it to you, sir. I'm gonna play in advance and move my people over, moving them to the. Other shops in the lane. Yep. Break some windows. Take the emergency exits. Next order. Your turn. 
I believe I will also advance and move these volks up there. One and one. Next order, draw back up to you, sir. We're gonna play a fire card here. Activate Sergeant Hayes and the adjacent line squad. Uh, what can we do here? We can get a 6-7 against your 11-12. We're going to make two separate attacks here. So uh, the line team, uh, a line squad alone will shoot into Lorebox Hex with a five base power. The roll is a five. Uh, you have, I mean, sorry, uh, a total of a 10, and you have okay. two free rolls. Yep, two trigger checks, so squad and leader. Good. And then Sergeant Hayes, uh, his squad uh, is a six with the command bonus uh, as the base. The roll is another five. This is a great choice I've made. <laughs> and uh, uh, two trigger checks again. Squad. We got our first sniper in. Oh, not targeting Nelson's statue. That column. is a destruction of your yeah. life. And uh, here's the leader. He's good. Your MG gets destroyed. Oh, man. We weren't using it anyway, were we? <laughs> it jammed. He just stopped <sighs> it. It's gone. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, that is all of that order. That was great. Lots of cards flew by. I want to play a move order. Activate this. Here we go. Uh, we'll go one, two, three, four. Get an extra movement, but I can't really use it, so I won't move anymore. Uh, the leader stack will move together. They'll have a three movement because of the media mortar. They will shuffle one foxhole to another, and the last line squad. We'll also shuffle to the right. Next order. Your turn. I think we will do an advance. And I'll have Lauerbach go there. And these guys will go there. Okay. Next order. Uh, I will draw back up. To you, sir. We're actually going to discard two. Your turn. Let's do a move order. Okay. And we'll activate Pfeiffer and crew down here. They will go one to there, or zero, depending on how you like to calculate it. Two. Three. All right, pause. You are in line of sight, uh, and we're going to play a fire Oop. action. Let's see here. We have a weapon team that cannot reach, but the weapon he is holding can. Uh, a line squad has a weapon that he's holding. All right, so we have a seven base with the Line squad and two weapons is nine. Sustained fire with that to make it an 11. Come on, doubles. Oh, okay. So a that? nice 21. That's a good shot. So we are an 11 and 11. So 11 rifle. They're going to break, but we have our first event. Well, that does not apply yet. Uh, so they break. And then Pfeiffer is an 8. Uh, 11, excuse me. 
Wow. He's okay, but time proceeds. Yes, you may proceed of the time. <laughs> I shall. All right. We time will march hits. on. And to draw a pile, there is no smoke. There oh, is there smoke. smoke. Yes, of course there's smoke. I There's crappy smoke, so I will get rid of the... Uh, I'll get rid of the two smoke. Um, any dig-ins on yours? No dig-ins. I get a point. Okay. And so Pfeiffer is okay, and they have no movement left, so they will stay. This elite rifle will go zero, one, two, three. Can't see him. Really? Oh. Nope, the wall gets in the way. Yeah, yeah, we're going to take, take the wall. Uh, so we have arrived at one, and we will take it. And you do have a shot there, I think, unless you clip this one. Nope. Can't see it. Yep, okay. So they're good there. Um, so they went zero, one, two, three, four. And they have nothing left, so we will say next order on that. A route on myself. So we have uh, 11 for the rifles. They're okay. Then we'll do a fire order with Lauerbach. Activate these. And we're going to do one big targeted shot at your line squad here. So Lauerbach and the rifles will be six plus seven next door. So seven plus. Got a 13 with a sniper. Oh, close. So, 13 to you. I am a 10. The roll is just enough for a 15. Right. Okay, so that is all the orders. And I will draw back up. That's two, sir. Uh, I am going to discard one. Your turn. We'll discard two and draw. Back to you. I'm going to discard three. Well, we are back into our discard mode here. Yeah. yeah. We'll do a fire. Once again with Larbach. And we'll target the lines. That's going to be five, six, seven. And. We'll play Spray Fire as well. Pick up this one. So, 7 plus. 17 with a sniper. Sniper in. Oh, man. Just so close every time. So, 17 to both. I should have been. Had you pause before that so I could accurately think about that. But I'm I'm okay with that. All right, uh, so we will go with the line team, uh, line squad first at a 10, then go to the one underneath the haze, which would be an 11, and then haze, which is an 11. Uh, makes it. 7 plus 11 is 18, makes it. There is an event. Interdiction, uh, suppress one unit with less than one cover. We got one. <laughs> Get off the street, you fools! <laughs> Control P for that. Uh, and last roll. Uh, 7 plus 11 is 18. He makes it. There is an event. Freeze! There goes that smoke. Goodbye. Uh, and that is the completion of the defense. No so that is all for that. And I think we will play a recover. And get rid of that suppression and we'll try to rally the rifles under Pfeiffer. They are an 11. Very good. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> and next order. And we'll draw back up. 
That changes my turn. We're going to discard two instead of playing two cards. All right, your turn. Play a move order. Okay. And we'll do Lower Box Group again. Some smoke grenades. And that's going to be from this unit here. Let's see what we get. That's a four, so they will throw that there. Actually, no, they'll throw it there. And we'll play more smoke. And this time we get from the same group here. Oops, there. We'll get a one. <laughs> we'll put it into. This one back here, and because third time's a charm, we'll do it from the same group again, so come on, baby. There we go. It's not great, but we'll put it there. That's fine. Now somebody's got to move, so... Um, they're just going to go one, two, three, four, if you'd like to shoot. No, thank you. Okay. So, next order, and we'll draw back up. It's back to you. We'll play a move. Line squad. One, two, three, four. And with the command bonus, five. Okay. Um. Yeah, take a shot there. Um, it's gonna be gonna be five, six, seven, eight with Lauerbach included. Yep. So eight. Minus uh, five for the hindrance. Minus five for the hindrance. So it's a three. And there you go. So it's a nine. All right. I get a six. And the roll is. For 15, I have a sniper. Close, but nothing. Next order. And we are going to play in advance. They're going to jump in the smoke. They're going to relocate right there. Next order. Your turn. Do a move on this unit by itself, and they will do an assault fire, hmm. and they will throw the satchel charge, they'll attempt to, uh, <laughs> into the smoke. Let's see if we can get a, a hit here. Oh, that's here. an interesting hindrance uh, targeting roll for... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which one, so, which one are you going to target? I'm going to target this one here. Oops, not that. Targeting them. And it's going to be a... It's a four with the hindrance. Five. It's a... Yeah, one away. Plus four is five. So I need a six or better. Uh, so here's the uh, targeting roll. And it, boy, how oh, does nice. it? It makes it. Yeah, it does. So uh, it's going to be a 12 plus... <laughs> just cannot get things right. All right, so it's a 16. Uh, that does not ignore. Uh, so that then gets... Uh, I start with a 6. The roll is an 8. 14. He breaks. And that satchel charge is eliminated. Okay. Um, and so they cannot fire because they don't have box firepower. So they're going to go uh, one, two to there. Next order. Mm, let's do, we'll do an advance. And we're going to just advance back to there. They got too close to you, apparently. 
Well, you know, I just figure what a, you've got four cards in your hand. There's probably four ambush cards. Eh, you must give this British man a wide berth. All right, back to you. Okay. Then I will play a fire card. We will activate this heavy stack because they can actually see someone. Uh, we will fire that media mortar, mortar into your sergeant's hex. That is a range of five, no hindrance. Uh, it hits, so we have a seven. To start off with, no uh, modifiers. The roll is quite low to be an 11. Okay, so we're just pulling two cards. Uh, squad. Sniper. Oh, come on, guys. And leader. He's good. Okay. We'll play for time here. Um, Light MG, number one, will shoot with a three uh, for a ten, but event happens first. Interdiction. Uh, <laughs> I've so, seen this one before. Yeah. So it's ten to your hex. Two trigger checks, squad, and leader. Good. All right. Uh, Light MG, number two. Uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. That was supposed to be an 11 because it's a it's a four. Uh, four plus eight is 12. Okay. I think you still have a roll for effect. I do. Uh, squad and leader. We have an event. Fire. Blaze. Where does the blaze go? Right there. Okay. Uh, it might come into play. Maybe. <laughs> Depends on how many breezes we get here. And the Lion Squad, uh, which uh, is a 7 as, as a base, so it might actually have enough. Uh, yes, we have a 16 with a sniper. Interesting. British. And we don't hit anything. So That's we're, 16 uh, to you. Two 11s. Here's the rifle 11. Uh, he's suppressed. And Pfeiffer's 11. Ah, he breaks. Aha! Uh -huh. You now can use one of the four recovery guards in your hand. That is that fire order, because the weapon team does not have range four of anything. Next order, we will make a move. The line backs up using two of his movement points. You do not have sight of him, and the line moves off. The smoky road uh, with his one and only movement point, uh, and Sergeant Hayes doesn't go anywhere. Next order. And I will play a recover card on myself. I have a line squad. Uh, I need to beat a seven, and I do not have any suppressions or anyone else. Uh, he does not recover. Next, o next order. Uh, that was three orders. I draw up, and it's your turn. Okay, I will... Discard one, discard two, discard three, and it's back to you. All right, I will play a recover card. So seven. This time he does recover. Awesome job. Uh, next order. We'll play a move. And we're going to do a shuffle. One, two. You do have sight of uh, with your lieutenant if you wish to op fire. That's okay. All right. Sergeant and line. Next order. Let's go for it. 
Let's see here. You have a suppressed rifle and a broken leader in a building. So the leader will have a nice fat 12. Uh, what can I get out of this? I can get a 7, 8, 9. That's actually kind of good uh, with a 3 difference. Uh, first, we'll uh, shoot our medium mortar into your sergeant's hex. Uh, see if we get lucky. That was a range 5 last time. It is still range 5. So the roll, it hits. Uh, so we have a 7 plus 5 for a 12. All right. Uh, I think so you get a roll. Our, uh, squad is a 9 and Pfeiffer's a 12. So 9 for squad. They're good. And Pfeiffer, he's good. All right, uh, if I can outroll you by four, it would be worth it. Do I go for it, or do I just try to ping you to death? Now, let's just ping you to death. We're going to go with, uh, so light MG number one with a, we got a five. The roll is a six. Eleven is... Okay, so uh, nine is the snake eyes. It's danger on them. <laughs> but they're already suppressed, so what are you going to do? <sighs> I need to keep my mouth shut. I could have killed, killed, uh, killed Pfeiffer. <laughs> you could have killed Pfeiffer. Here we go. Pfeiffer. Here's an event. Oh. Well, let's go shopping. Oh, I... I, I satchel charge. Or a MG. Or a light MG, but I think the, the use of the satchel charge is... It does promising. have utility. It does. All right, so we're going to take that back, and he passes. Cool. Light MG number two. Five plus 11 is a 16. Okay. So nine for squad. Uh, they break. And Pfeiffer is a 12. And he just barely makes it. And we now have the squad, which is a 7. For a middle of the road 15 of firepower. Okay. Uh, once again, rifles are 9. Let's see if we get anything to add to that. Yep, 9. And they're gone. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. I did not expect that. Oh, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I like I've seen a bunch of your little rolls running around. I didn't yeah. realize that they were still coming up. So I get two VT on two that points. one. Yeah. And machine gun goes two. So twelve for him. Yeah. There's box the box cards. cards. Alright, cool. Saves me nineteen uh cards right there. So there you may you know. Right. Proceeding, resetting my deck, removing a smoke, the one I, I'm on. Uh, you may take a victory point and any dig ins that you'd like to do. I have no dig ins to play. I don't have any either, <laughs> and it's still yours. So that's everyone in that hex. Uh, fired, so next order. I believe that was three orders. So I draw up. And pass off to you. Okay. Well, this changes things a little bit. So we'll do an advance. And Pfeiffer will advance behind that wall. Because apparently these guys are smart. <laughs> uh, next order. Uh, that is all. I will send it back to you. We'll play a move order. We'll go one, two, and you now have line of sight if you wish. Um, I do. So let's see here. Uh, no, go ahead. Three. Uh, ending movement with that squad. Uh, moving my wonderfully large slow stack. One, two, 
And then I will assault fire. Uh, I've got two weapons with box power. They will fire in tandem well, in, together in one fire group. Uh, on to Sergeant Pfeiffer's hex. Uh, we have uh, five stick as the base. And the roll is a sniper. So 15. Uh, random hex it. Yes, I hit Yikes. one. <laughs> There we go. Okay, and we are a six and an eight. Uh, so you have a minus one for the road, and I believe a plus two for oh the wall, the right. wall, of course. Yeah, so I've net net one. Okay, so uh, the elite rifles are an eight. Then it's offset, and Pfeiffer's uh, a ten. So squad eight. He's good. And Pfeiffer, 10. He's good. One more movement point. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Your turn. I'm going to... Just Got that recovery? Satchel. Oh, <laughs> that would be too easy. Why do you... <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm what I'm expecting. <laughs> I'm going to eliminate the satchel charge and get rid of this wire. Uh, per the special rules, um, and then we'll do an advance order, and we'll advance into the building there. Ah. Okay. Uh, next order, because <laughs> I'm a glutton for punishment, let's do a route on myself, and uh, we'll have... Pfeiffer is a 12. <laughs> nice. You cannot make this up. All right. Bro, he's suppressed and... He's get, suppressed. Uh... And advanced time. But that's not the worst thing, I guess. Because that puts me at reinforcements. Yes. So we're going to advance time. I'm going to reset my deck. Uh, no SD. Then... I get a point. Yep. I'm going to... Take these uh, and then put them down here. We do reinforcements. Smoke marker, I believe, and then yeah. reinforcements, then dig in. Um, uh, so... I am inactive player, so I go first. Okay. If that matters to you. I don't think it's going to matter too much. Uh, if you wanna... They're going to go right there. Why? Yes, I'm. I'm shocked. Shocked and amazed. <laughs> uh, and then they're going to go right there on three. Um, so he is suppressed. Let me get rid of a smoke. We'll get rid of that smoke. And, uh, I have to do the elites over here. They are an 11. We're good. So next order, uh, I will draw back up. And it is to you. Uh, yeah. Yep. I'm okay. actually very happy you did not have a fire card. I totally forgot about those reinforcements. Okay, we're going to play a fire order. We're just going to activate these two people, these two stacks. Uh, Linus, I'm going to be targeting the heavy MG team. You, weapons team, you have an 11. Uh, we will... Shoot the mortar in first. Range of five. Uh, it does not jam because this is a targeting roll. Right. Uh, it just misses. So what kind of damage can we do here? We can go seven, eight, nine, ten. Add a marksmanship for a twelve. And the roll is a... Seven for a nineteen. Okay. To your heavy MG hit. Um, I'm going to let's see. They're at eleven, so I'll play concealment. Uh, all uh, right, sixteen. Sixteen. And they're an eleven plus. I'm gonna have you re-roll that. Oh, so okay. If you so hit the let me yeah, yeah, yeah. There we okay. go. 
All right. Uh, Eleven plus. Oh, okay. Well, that's that. That's everyone right there. Next order. Uh, and then I'll route you. That's going to get me a wonderful... The Elite Rifle will go first. So that's an 11. He doesn't go anywhere. And now the Sergeant. He doesn't go anywhere. But that ends your deck. Uh, yep. Hit the time trigger. To draw a pile. One VP to me. And uh, dissipate that last smoke. All right. Uh, Any diggins? No diggins to yourself. Nope. Next order. Uh, that was three orders. Your turn. We will play fire. Uh, okay. And we will target the stack. Sorry. We got an eight, and we will sustain it for ten. Ten plus. Nice. And you get doubles. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the way of all things. Uh, so it's twenty, and we get a sniper. Sniper does not help. Uh, What's well, a B five? So he was not. It was not broken yet. Right. So all right. Okay. So now it breaks. And who would have been fixed? Oh, well. So, 20 to you. Okay. Even if I had a concealment, it wouldn't help me. Line squad at a 9. A weapon team at a 10. And a leader at a 9. This looks bleak. Time! If you accept that roll... Um, let's see, it was, I did a 20, you got a 21, now I will give that back to you. 11! <laughs> so it's a suppression <laughs> on them. Yep, they get a suppressed. Uh, next guy. Uh, 8, he will break. Because uh, that's 18. And my leader... 11, he actually makes it with a suppression. That's right. Wow. I did not expect yeah. that one. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's just the way it happens here whenever I play combat commander. All right, so that's next order, and I'm going to draw back up, and it's to you. We're going to play a route on you. We got a 11, an 11. Your elite rifle first. He doesn't go anywhere. And your leader doesn't go anywhere. Next order, I am going to play an advance. They're going to move back just in case that heavy MG gets bumped back up. They will also move back. Next order. I will draw back up. Your turn. All right. To do a move order. Activate these guys that have been quiet for far too long. <laughs> and they will go uh, one, two, and three, four. Yep. We will th yep. throw out some smoke grenades. Let's see what we get. That's very nice. We will put that right there. Um, these guys will go two and four to there. Next order, draw back up, and sending it back. Yeah, we're going to play a route on you. 
It's an 11 11, same order. Event. I get a secret objective. The Brits have a secret. Cool. Very secret. Uh, next roll. Doesn't move. Next order. We will play a move card. The heavy MG's on the move. One. Okay. Two. Three. Because they have an extra movement because of the road. Gotcha. Next order. Your turn. No action. Oh. Um, yeah. Okay. So we will, we will drag them into the that part of the store, whatever that is. Next order. Um... I will play a route on you. And it is just a nine, I think. Yes, I have nine. Yeah. Okay, here's the roll. And they're fine. And drawing back up to you. We're going to discard two. Your turn. I'm going to play in advance. On Lauerbach. So they will go there. Okay. And they will go there. All right. Okay. And next order. Nothing else to do. So, drawing back up. And it's you. I'm going to play a route on you. Same order, same numbers. Doesn't do anything doesn't do anything. Next order. We're going to play in advance. We're going to pop that right there. They're going to go right there. Next order. Your turn. And so the Germans, the time is slipping away. Let's see what we can do here. Um, I'm going to discard... Uh, I'm going to discard three. And I'll draw back up. And it is to you, sir. How do I want to play this, though? I expected you to do something. Believe you uh, me, I would. I <laughs> really would. You know what? We're, we're going to make a fire order. We have Sergeant Hayes' group, and we're going to target your broken satchel charge holder. No more. I don't want to see him run in and throw it with a assault fire like last time. So we have a six, seven, eight, uh, no hindrances, with a marksman. So that would be a total of a 10 before the roll. We have a 16. Okay, well, let's see. We are 11 in that building. So 11 plus. They're okay with a sniper. Which, come on, snipers. Not helping. Uh, does it? It eliminates the heavy machine gun. <sighs> heavy sigh. That was uh, That was my last best hope. Right. Oh, that's so great! Yeah, yeah. So because I think that was uh was was that a jammed or was that a uh... that was a jammed? Yeah. Uh, okay, no, that was yeah. a sustained fire. I did that to myself. Okay. Yeah. yeah with yeah. With... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's two two uh, machine guns that you've uh, lost. Yeah. Yeah. On... I, don't, I don't know how to oil these weapons clearly. On on a sniper roll. Yep. All right. He makes it. Uh, next order. Your turn. Let's see what we can do uh, with a recover card. Aw, oh, damn it. Got, got two suppressions we remove. And let's go with Pfeiffer first. He should be automatic. Another sniper. 
the sniper is still not helping me. That would have fixed the machine gun, so <laughs> insult to injury there. Uh, so Pfeiffer rallies. And then the elite rifles are 11. <sighs> oh, what a great time. Deflated. I'm, I'm so <laughs> almost completely... I'm just a, a puddle here, Mark. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's... Proceed uh, with the time. Yes, let's proceed with the time. All right, so we got that. I will reset my deck. Uh, is there a smoke? There is a smoke. We'll dissipate that smoke. And uh, take a VP, right? A nice even 20 for you. Yeah. And oh, any dig-ins but... that you wish to play? I don't have any dig-ins. Okay, none for me. So they fail. Hurrah! Next order. I guess we just got to draw back up and see what happens. Over to you. Uh, we'll play another fire card. Do the exact same thing. We have an 8. The roll is a 5. I should have just pinged him. Mm. For card draw, that's a 13. And we are 11. We're good. Your turn. Alright. Let's do a move order. Uh, okay. I'll have Pfeiffer activate. Oops, sorry, I just didn't clear all that off so you can move him again that's so, oh, oh that's right uh, yeah. so Pfeiffer will activate them and we're going to go two four pause oh yeah I don't have a line of sight right there you may continue. Okay. Uh, still four. All right. Uh, I do have a line of sight right there. I am going to hidden wire you. Okay. I am defender. There is now a wire right there. Yikes. All right. I will play smoke grenades from them. I'll throw out a smoke grenade somewhere. Let's see which one. It's a two. That's not great. Uh, so throw it there. And Pfeiffer will go one to uh, there. May I ask you just certainly why you placed the smoke there? Yes, you may ask. Why? Why? Why did you place the smoke there? Because I have designs. On, okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have designs. Um, and it it wasn't as good as I'd hoped, so anyway, oh, Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna get <laughs> I'm gonna get two cover for the wall, so yeah. mm. um so Pfeiffer goes there. Any uh, any reaction? Nope. Okay. Uh then he will go into there. Okay. Uh, next order. Advance both of these units here, and uh, we'll just come back a step. All right, next order, drawing up. Back to you. All right, we're going to play a recover. I got one. First, remove suppressions. Uh, and I have one unit that is broken. Uh, he gets plus three for the foxholes and plus two for the lieutenant. So that's a plus five. So that makes it a 12. And the roll is an event. Happens first before he recovers. Walking wounded. Well, that means I have to pick your guy. Well, hurrah. Okay. Plop him right there, and we will draw the random hex that is right there. Uh, that works for me. Uh, do I have to put him in an empty hex? You can put him anywhere in or adjacent to that. Oh, cool. So we can, we can force an overstack. Right. So with the event... 
uh, covered. Uh, my guy uh, is now good. Um, and we can... Okay, so I will do the deploy order. on him. Yep. Yeah, that was the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, so that's a deploy. Uh, one of them comes in. Yep, come on. He goes off there, and he breaks. Okay. Okay. Yes. And I get a point for that. And uh, since that was the end of my turn, uh, it is now your turn. All right. Do a move. Oh, okay. And we'll have the elite rifles here go to there. Any reaction? Uh, yeah. I am going to play fire order. Activating the heavy MG uh, and the weapon team. Uh, they both have range, uh, so it will be an eight. Uh, minus two for hindrance, so a six. Uh, the roll is a six, so a twelve to your minus one. Okay, um, we are a seven plus. They're good. So they are done. Uh, out of the wire. Next order, a another recover attempt, and we'll start with the. Guys, under Rettenhouse, they are 6, 7, 10. They rally. And the Elite Rifles over here, 11. They rally. Next order, I'm going to draw back up, and it is two, sir. Okay. Ah, uh, we will make a fire order. Sad that that guy moved out of the wire, but we will pick these beeps. Uh, first, we will do the line squad uh, targeting this hex. They go through the orchard tree, so that will be a hindrance of two. two. Uh, so a three base power. Firepower uh, goes into that hex. The roll is a wonderful 11. <laughs> wow. Uh, so I'm sorry, that's a 14. 14. All right. Um, so we're uh, 11, 11, and 10. So 11. So oh, three free rolls. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I, I'm thinking of 11. So 14 is actually yeah. deadly to some of them. <laughs> All right. So 11 squad. Good. 11 team. And 10 leader. I'm getting an event. Move. One miser wire marker. Uh -huh. There are several wire markers. I'll get rid of this one in the fountain. Okay. All right. Um, and so those are good. So we're going to shoot the mortar into that weapon team. Uh, they, the range is five. Uh, so the targeting roll needs to be greater than that. It's not greater than that. That's a perfect time for a jammed because it does not count as a jammed event. Uh, so the mortar misses. Yeah, we're not looking to kill him. We're just looking to roll some cards here. So we'll go light MG number one with a base power of five. That's a uh, three plus uh, command bonus. Uh, with a wonderful three, uh, so that's an eight to your weapon team. You get a free roll. Cool. Uh, same thing with light MG, MG number two. Uh, so we got an 11. Okay. Another free roll. Check. Uh, we will go... The last unit, which is the line squad. Uh, he is a seven plus seven is the 14 event happens first. Event is hero. Place, uh, place a friendly, uh, the hero in a friendly hex 
rallying up to one unit. I don't have a broken unit, so it's just a friendly hex. No rallying. Uh, he will swap right there in my uh, heavy weapon team here. All right. All right. Uh, so that's everyone in that fire order. Uh, and it is your turn. Fantastic. Do the move order. Okay. Have the elite rifles up here. Yep. Uh, they will just go two into the building. To okay. Take control of two. Oh yes, you can grab two and, that way. Uh, four victory. So that's points. a four yep. wing. All right. And next order. All right. So we're gonna do a fire order here, and we'll have. Let's see, I have Rettenhouse activate this stack of fire, and we're just going to do one big fantastic shot with Rifle Squad at 5, plus 1 is 6, plus 2 more is 7, 8, uh, minus the 2 here, so it's back down to a 6, and they're going to target these lines right here, so 6 plus. Sigh! There you go, there's nine. Uh, I've been waiting for you to do that for a long time. Oh, yes, have a pillbox. Yes. yes. All right. Pillbox. I've been like, ah, oh, man, I really want that pillbox right yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, I've been holding on to that card and, like, you yeah, haven't been shooting at that one little guy just standing out in the open. I yep. definitely get a free roll out of that one. Do. Okay. And he makes it. So, next order. And drawing up, and it's to you. We're going to make a move. Oh, and we're in. Yes. They will be activated, and the weapon team with the heavy MG will also be activated, because they're now within command radius. Uh, let's see here. Well, the weapon team will just hop over the wall for two movement points, and they are done. Uh, here, we're going to do a little bit of shuffling, I think. The line squad will move into the foxholes. That hex is going to move into the pillbox that was recently made. Uh, everyone moved. Next order. And it is your turn. Discard three, then draw up. And it's yours. I'm gonna play in advance, activating the weapon team, plopping into the freely opened up, drained uh, fountain, as you mentioned at the beginning of this game that these are those are actually fountains. Next order, I will play a fire order onto this. We will shoot the mortar uh into there. Uh the range is four with a hindrance of two, so I've got to beat a six. Uh I get a six which does not beat a six, so the mortar does not hit. Ah, uh, and we will do a attack. We're going to do one large firing group. Um, so line squad uh, with a 7, two light MGs for 9, a weapons team for 10, and a lion squad just behind, still within range for 11. Uh, minus 2 for the hindrance is 9. Uh, and the roll is a 9 for an 18. Uh, sniper happens first. Uh, it does not hit. 11, 11, and 10 once again. So the 11 for the squad breaks. 11 for the team is okay. And 10 for the leader breaks.
Cool. And that is everyone in that fire order. Next order, and for my third and final order, I will route you. Let's see here. You have uh, a 10 and an 11. Uh, nothing? Nothing. But that's two more cards out of my deck. That's three orders. It is your turn. All right, fantastic. Now let's do a move order. We'll have Pfeiffer activate these units. Okay, so Satchel Charge will go there. I think I will play a fire action. And we will activate the Command Radius. My best bet is to have the pillbox plus the range five, because that is a clear shot on uh, no hindrances. So it is an 11. So it's a lined squad at seven, two light MGs for nine, a weapon team for 10, and a lined squad uh, in the foxholes for an 11. The roll is an 8 for a 19. Okay, and we got two 11s, so the Elite Rifles 11 plus break. Uh, they have a 12, but... Oh, oh, that's right, because the leader, yeah. But, uh, yep. Break nonetheless, and then leader is an 8, 11. Uh, he, is, he makes it then, so he's okay, but the sniper may say otherwise, and that's fine. Okay. Well, uh, as you say, best laid plans. That did not go well, so we're gonna uh, we'll attempt to do a recovery now, and we'll go with Corporal Rittenhouse first. He's eleven. Nope. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Planet Patrick. Okay. Uh, so this could be for all the marbles. Let's. Do our time advance. We'll reset the deck. Uh, deck is reset. Uh, on a less than seven, game is over. Game is over. Congratulations. Game is over. Well done, sir. That uh, Thank man. Thank you very much. From the first, just right out of the gate, the very first thing, <laughs> I've just been on my back heel the whole time. And I'm like, this game is terrible. I've never, <laughs> I can't do anything. Oh man, this was uh, yeah no. But you, uh, I just I had a feeling you were hoarding that damn pillbox, and I was like, I yeah, gotta, yeah, I gotta shoot this, this guy. And I was like, yeah, he's baiting you, he's baiting you. But yeah, that's fine. oh yeah. Like I didn't have a move card to move my people over, and when your weapon team was there, being in the foxholes was a great idea. Yeah, exactly. Um, I can shoot at them, and I'm like as soon as I get a move card, I'm swapping them. But every. Um, Every single little plan, I'm like, I'm going to go up this flank, and then you, you built this yeah. great line here, and and then you kept breaking, and I'm like, okay, I just need to get into four and assault fire, that's all I need to do, but no, that's not going to happen. All right, I'll get my machine gun, and then it breaks right out of the gate, and then these guys, oh man, this has just been a such a cluster, because I wanted to get up here and get to two, but then when that, when the... Uh, when you kept getting more and more points and more and more points, I'm like, okay, stay calm. There's still five. <laughs> I can get five or I can get them to surrender. And I was like, no, I'm never going to get them to surrender. Cause you just, you've got these amazing fortifications here that, uh, I was yeah. going to try to, I was going to try to close and pick off this guy with satchels. Uh, but I knew this one was going to come to melee here. And that was, that was probably not going to happen with the time left, but good game. My picked up secret objective was four, and that's why I'm like, I need to, like, oh. I was like, I need to defend that side anyways. They really? So, uh, but so then it's like, oh, I really need to make sure he doesn't hop on four. And uh, and ironically, my pickup was three, it was worth three, so they offset. So uh, that, yes. that's good. 
Um, so final score, 17. Chalk another one up for the defending Brits this time. Uh, Mark, absolute pleasure. I mean, uh, I don't enjoy losing, but uh, when I lose <laughs> when I lose to a really, really good player, it's, it is great to watch after the fact. So thank you for, for the schooling. Uh, I, there were a lot of little things that I saw you did that, man, I was like, this guy is really playing chess with me. He's, he's like four <laughs> steps ahead. Uh, but... Yeah, I, I love this game, and that that's one of the reasons why it's such a great game is because things can move very slowly, and if you're not planning for them, yeah. you are left behind. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Well, then we will leave it here. Uh, we will bid you a fond farewell, sir. I hope we get to play again soon. And uh, for everybody else that are out there that watching this video after the fact, thank you for your attention for this schooling, as we called it. Take a moment to click that like and subscribe. That's what we ask in every video. If you click that notification bell, then you'll find out when I drop these if you're not already subscribed. But you should be subscribed because you must enjoy this stuff. And I'm also showing you our current monetary supporters. Thank you, everyone, who kicks in a couple of bucks every now and again. Some of you doing it monthly. That's very generous. Uh, I really appreciate it. It's helping pay for all those little things that te seem to crop up here with running this channel. I do it for the love of it, not for the money. So whatever you kick in, that's cool. And if not, that's absolutely fine, too. Mark, until we meet again, sir, good luck on the rest of the ladder. Hope soon. <laughs> I'm sure it will be. Take it easy, everybody. Have a good night.